Everyone is fall back. I thought I'd make a little guide for you guys. I'll try and point out everything you should know. I also got commander tips and officer tips if you like leadership roles. If you don't already have Hell Let Loose, go buy it. It's only 30 bucks. Suck it up. It's a great time killer. Non-stop competitiveness for up to two hours some of these games. It's a battle of will, baby. That's why I like it. It's ultra competitive. You got to use teamwork. If you're a commander, you're a great commander, and none of your officers are listening, you're not going to win. You need teamwork, and that's why I love it. I like the teamwork. I like how hard you have to try to win. Also, I appreciate all my recent subs and all the views I've been getting. I thank you guys for watching and commenting. If you have any questions after this video, I'll definitely get back to you. I also stream on Twitch every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific time if you want to chat it up. I definitely will respond and talk and try and be entertaining for you. I'll put my Twitch link down in the description. All right, let's get to the guide. Just before it, I have a little short clip that I thought was funny. Apparently, I can't laugh in one sequence. Get murked, kid. <laughs> Soldier said, I'm done. This guy hang himself in here. You guys should check, you guys should check it out. It's hilarious. This time, I'm going to give you a little rundown, a little tutorial, how to play this game, things you should know. Also, if you didn't watch my last video, make sure you go into options, gameplay, and turn all your friendly icons up to 500 meters. That way you're not shooting your teammates and pissing everybody off. All right, so here's your menu screen. Game starts, whatever. You can join as commander. How do you join? Boom, you're commander. You don't want to be commander? Resign. You got your infantry unit, arm unit, recon unit. There's two recon units. Two units per uh, recon. A spotter is the first person that joins, and the second person that joins is a sniper. If you love sniping, you better click that shit fast. And you got your armor units. There's three per armor unit, and you can have up to three of them. And there's infantry units. You can have as many as you want, up to six people per team. Now, say you create a unit, and you're an officer, and it fills up. Now there's six people in it. You don't want to be an officer. All you got to do is leave the unit, and then join it right back. It'll have that icon right there. You see where the mouse is? Just leave it, and then join it. It doesn't appear right now because I'm the only one in it. But then, once you do that, you can switch back and forth from officer if you need to. Build a garrison. I would suggest if you start as an officer, stay officer. And then once you get to your location to make an outpost, make your outpost. And switch to whatever class you want. But keep in mind, then your squad won't have an officer if it's full. So if you're an officer, just man up and be one. Why? Because then the commander can't communicate with you. But if you have to do it for supplies or ammo, so be it. But ideally, you'd want to hop back in the officer role if you're communicating. If not, fuck it, whatever. All right, so here's the map. It's divided into two sections each. So the way it starts, each team has four territories already locked for them. And then you try and fight to get the middle, the scar. So ideally, you want to make your outpost, say if you're my team right now. If you're Americans, you want to make one like in D4 at the edge. On my little on my little observe mark right there doesn't have to be right there but you get my point if they cap scar and your outpost is in e or f it's gonna go bye bye and then no one really makes garrison so you're gonna have to run all the way from the spawn and you're not gonna want to do that another thing each of these towns has a lock icon at the bottom right where i'm pointing at so say you cap scar then Hill 15, that lock icon is going to go away. So then you can build outposts out here or garrison. So if you drop supplies out in H3 and you send a unit out there, they can make a garrison. That way everyone could spawn there and attack it from the north. But keep in mind, if they take it back, bye bye garrison. So the strategy of that, when these towns are getting capped, you'll see in the middle, these little middle marks right here on hill 15 blue will represent the American side so if blue is like all around the circle and you see a little red and you see it keep, keep ticking keep closing in that means you're about to cap it and vice versa so if there's barely a little tiny little thing of blue right there and they're about to cap it 
obviously you don't want to build a garrison because if you build it then you're just wasting supplies and your garrison's gonna go these are little things to keep in mind and you definitely want at least one or two garrisons on your second town this is the middle town scar goes back and forth most of the time if the both teams are good they're gonna be stratting and every time your team doesn't listen if you're commander they're gonna be rushing you're gonna be like redeploy redeploy and they're just gonna stay over there picking their ass and it's just gonna get back capped so you gotta play conservative you might say you can play aggressive you just gotta know your team another thing redeploying is key so if the commander is talking to the officers the officers are the only ones that can hear the commander. So it's an officer's job to tell the squad what the hell the commander's saying. But the commander tells me right now, redeploy. Weebok Overlook's getting taken. I'm like, oh shit, okay. But what do I do? Say we have a garrison right there in C3 up in the top northwest. Escape, redeploy, are you sure? Yes, you have to wait a little bit. But it's faster than running the majority of the damn time. And you space. Now you're redeploying. Say this HQ was the garrison. Even if you didn't have the garrison. That's the closest thing that we block. Boom. Now you're redeploying. Look on the map. Make sure you're going in the right direction. Head there as fast as possible. Just know that they're going to be aiming at you. You got to just be... Uh, uh, uh. You got to be... You got to be ready. All right, if you want to be a commander, the best way to learn is just hop in the roll, grow some balls, and do it. But if you need some tips, I got you because it is intimidating. You're going to have a lot of people in your ear. So the main thing to keep in mind is listen to your officers. But if you guys aren't building uh, garrisons, here's how you do a supply drop. You need supplies to build a garrison. So if I want a garrison over south three i mean so if i want a garrison northwest of weebok on c3 right here just drop supplies boom and all you got to do it takes a little while to come in run your happy ass over there keep in mind you do have a team not building that many garrisons you're gonna be running a lot and it gets old I just love running and we run through the jungle and run through the jungle I could hear a bullfrog calling me you gotta keep yourself entertained you know all right all right we're there look on the map all right, so you know how to have that the parachute icon when it was coming in. Now it's on the ground. There's 100 supplies. It takes 50 to use a garrison. What does that mean? If this garrison gets destroyed, you can build another one. A lot of people don't know that either. So if you're a good officer and you're running around the map and you run around some supplies, might as well build a garrison or something. Build a fucking anti-tank gun. Whatever you got to do. The more shit you have, the better. So you just whip, whip your little watch out. Hold left click, place it where you want it. Boom. Now you got your garrison. Another thing to keep in mind as a commander, say you wanted to build two garrisons there. You want to make sure you're at least the same distance apart on the grid. Whatever a square is in length, I think it's 150 meters, 200 meters, something like that. That's where you would want to build your other one. So a safe spot to drop supplies would be right there. Even if it doesn't let you build it right there, you got that radius within the supplies, you'll be able to build it a little further south if need be. Another thing, marking the map as officers and commander. I'm pretty sure just a regular troop, if he marks something, I'm not 100% sure still if the officer can see it. But you want to relay where it is and then your officer will point it out. One way to do it is your binoculars. The other way to do it, go into your map. You got six different icons, one through six. If you press one, you click anywhere on the map for observe mark. 
boom, observe. You click two, boom, attack. Click three, move. Click four, defend. Click five, supplies. You're requesting supplies. Click six, you got fire support. So if you want people just to eyes on or whatever, or whatever you feel like pressing, you don't feel like thinking about which command it is. Say you got a tank right there on that observe mark. Just tell your commander, hey command, I got a tank on my able observe. Why able? Because you're able squad. So you'll have an A above the observe. Then I'll know as a commander, okay, I gotta bomb this motherfucker. As a commander, I'll be like, all right, is that tank standing still? Is it moving? Let me know when it's standing still, whatever. All right, it's standing still now, it's trapped or something. Then you call in your strafe run or your bomb run. Bomb run's more powerful, but you only get it every once in a while. Sometimes if I have a guaranteed stuck tank, that's fucking shit up. But I know it's not gonna be moving for a minute. Call on your airstrike. How do you change the angle of it? You click the center, it'll slowly change. You like to put it like right on it or right by it. And I'll strafe run. So how do you do it? You click that little radio thing next to it. So same thing with bombing run. Put it right there. Make sure it's facing the right way. Hit the little radio icon. Now it's coming in. Another useful thing in for being a commander. Reinforce and encourage. So reinforce will make your capturing power stronger. So if you have Weebok Overlook getting taken over, but you have three or four guys in there, and you see the scars getting taken over by your guys. So you guys are having a little battle, but it's kind of equal. You press reinforce on Weebok Overlook. So you click it, click Weebok Overlook, and then hit the radio icon, boom. So now those people that are in Weebok are gonna be gaining it back faster. And that is important and it comes in handy. I'll even show you later in this video. It barely came in handy, but epic comeback. We were down to our last city. Then on the other end, if you're about to capture the scar, encourage, you'll temporarily generate more supplies when captured. So if you're about to capture scar, hit encourage, boom. Now you get more supplies when you capture that town. I'm not 100% sure on how final stand works, but it says your team will not lose any resources for a short amount of time. So my guess is you hit this, and then if you got a bomb run, strafe run, freaking supplies, drop whatever you can while you can. So I'd say final stand would be good to use before a strafe and a bomb run on a hot zone. All right, and here's the binoculars. Same thing, whip them out, you got one through six. You just scroll down with your scroll wheel, and you'll be able to choose which one you want. So say you got a tank right there, boom. Anybody, hey, X chat. Hey commander, I got a tank on my observe mark, Abel's observe mark and Baker too. Whatever you gotta do. Another thing that's useful, say you have your outpost next to a garrison close by. There's not really a need to have your outpost right by the garrison, depending how far they are apart. But if they're right next to each other, if someone builds a garrison right by your outpost, or you want to take your outpost further in enemy lines, you might as well dismantle it. That way you can get more positions on the enemy. That's what I do. When I have a full squad and I don't have a support, and I want a garrison down, I'll build an outpost, redeploy as a support guy, go to the outpost, drop supplies down, redeploy, go back to an officer, then build a garrison, pick up my outpost, move ahead. That's what you call dedication. All right, so you see how I'm running to those supplies right there? If you need to scroll to see up close, you just scroll down your mouse wheel, vice versa. Now you're within the vicinity to build a garrison. What do you do? Right click, scroll down. There's your garrison, it's a little bigger. Boom, there it is on the map. Good to go. All right, I'll let you figure out the rest for yourself, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. That guy just got mowed. All right, I'm going in. I'm going in! Right, Protect me! Now, Fuck you, bitch. 
guys don't have any balls, man. Look at this. this guy's just standing here. That's all I gotta do. If I had my commandos right now that I had the other day, I'd be owning. Bitch. Get out of my game, bitch. Thompson sniper. Tank pilot. Got guys. 12 o'clock. <sighs> just a freaking machine. The hell is my squad? I'm not even listening to our commander right now. I can't concentrate. Too busy owning. <laughs> guy was just waiting for me. My ring finger tip really hurts, man. Why? What are you doing with it? <laughs> sprinting. Why are you sprinting with your ring finger? It shouldn't just be your pinky. Yeah, that's my pinky. I don't use my pinky. Yeah, you're fucking weird. I'm gonna try that right now, though. What do you mean your ring finger? What What are your yeah, hands? Who are does that? that? Yeah. <laughs> Where, what, what finger is pushing A? Three? How's that? I'm trying to make that. I just I just go back like to middle it. Middle finger on W. Don't mess with my, my finger on A. Finger on D. Dude, that shit doesn't make any sense. You're just making it harder yeah, on you're yourself. You're literally making it impossible for yourself. You're giving, you're giving yourself to, like fucking arthritis and shit. That's true. I have to change it. Carpal tunnel. Yeah, carpal tunnel. That's what I couldn't think of. Fucking weirdo. You're probably left-handed too, aren't you? Sure am. Oh my Disgusting. god. Disgusting. It made me feel so bad. Ew. Is there dicks, Ew. man? What the hell is wrong with dicks. you? Not even the cool kind either. Yeah, well, thanks for letting me know you guys are so nice. Hey, but you're doing good at this game, man. For a freak. Pro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for using your ring finger to push sprint. Yeah, Just chilling. Chris Haybell, he's like, I'm going in for another spawn. Fuck it, right? Fuck it, yeah, man. Try it again. Fuck it. Double there, grenading there these we'll guys. Oh, yeah, time. Woo! Ho, ho, ho! I just went flying. Really? Watch out, watch out. Watch out, watch out, watch out. <laughs> it didn't make it past the <laughs> Excuse me, I'm outside. Damn, I gotta pee really bad. Now is not the time. Negative, Commander. You don't you don't have a Mountain Dew bottle next to you? <laughs> I'm heading back over there. I'm gonna I'm gonna get my call of duty. Hey, on. Tell your people to tell people yeah. to spawn at the scar we're capping. Nah, they're capping over the faster. I need Delta Squad, Dog Squad to redeploy and help out with Wheelock. Yeah, why the fuck are they all up there just fucking bunched up sucking each other's dicks? I don't know. Could somebody please fucking defend that point? Why don't they give me grenades? How does Commander not have grenades? We have a scraping wood, what do you want? <laughs> I want grenades, baby. I'm a soldier too. How hard is it to strap some grenades to my vest? You lost that privilege. Apparently. So why is uh why is Overlook locked right now? Because yeah, they just capped it. Oh, uh, it's got like a uh -huh. buffer time or something. Yeah. Yep. My hey, bad. Do we my have bad, bro. On that first point, <laughs> or do we have to come back for it? Because we're gonna go for Scar if we do. Sweet. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, sorry, Lambert. I thought, that I, thought, was you? <laughs> I thought you were the enemy, man. I saw they were taking it. Hey, they're taking our last town. I have fall back. I hate you. I'm sorry. Alright, I'm gonna try to make a play for Wheelock. I'm gonna weasel my way through cracks. Everyone else defend. Until the final spawn point.
Garrison's up. I got their garrison down. Mm, nice. I don't know if we're gonna get it, but fuck it. <clears throat> if and we could get everybody to the strong point, that'd be great. Thanks and gig'em. I got you, buddy. Y'all will get it if giving them a bombing around run. reserve, ghost reserve. Did a bombing run that strong point. Want to get in there? Whoever's over there. Echo, you advancing on reserve? I also reinforced it. Get in there. Oh my God! They slightly going out. up. Tell everyone go in, go in. Go in! Epic comeback, come on! Dude, we got it, we got it. I think so. Alright. Everyone on reserve well. start advancing basically in like 10 or 20 seconds. You can advance on SCAR. Hey, Baker, I'm giving you a supply drop. Copy that, Baker. Baker, I need you to make a garrison out there. When the supplies Which come. Which squad is going to hang back and defend? Which squad is going to hang back and defend? All of them. All of us. Okay. All right, Blitz, you might have to make that garrison, huh? I know you're working on it. I'm on it. You better I, dome those I'm on kids. It, I'm on it. Dome those kids. Good luck. It's down. Get everybody spawned here ASAP. Redeploy Scar. Kill, your, kill yourself if you have to. Hey, we're going to take all their points back seconds. in freaking 20 minutes. I'm gonna try to make another garrison northwest of it. Or northeast Easy. from the map. Dang, the epic comeback. <clears throat> oh, so that's the lesson. Don't give up. We worked it all the way back. We almost capped all five. We capped four at one point. And they even came back and recapped Scar. And then we capped Scar again. And then we capped four again. And then we ended up four to one. It was a battle. It's a lot of fun. You should definitely buy it. It's worth it.